Hey folks, what you see on the table before you are two Bushmaster uppers. Neither of these uppers have the flash hider on the front, suppressor, um, or uh, a brake. Now these were purchased in the 90s after the quote assault weapons ban and I was somebody was looking at my safe the other day and said oh that um, dissipator upper looks really cool why don't you go shoot it so what we're going to do here in just a little bit is shoot um, both uppers um, what I like about the dissipator upper it is heavier um, which of course mitigates some recoil but what you have is this very long just like you'd get on a full uh, you know M M16 or AR15 with the a full 20 inch barrel length, you get this long sight picture from here to here. Um, and that is kind of nice. It also looks fun because it's just kind of a stubby little nasty guy. So we're gonna shoot both of those with a couple of different uh, ammunitions. And um, you know, it's a really bright day, so I'm not sure you're gonna be able to actually see um, the flash that's associated. There is more flash when you don't have a flash hider, surprise. There's also a little bit more muzzle lift um, on the front of the gun. However, these are, you know, we're shooting, we'll be shooting some 223 and some 556 stuff. And you'll see that um, it's totally controllable. This is a relatively inexpensive uh, lower. Again, this was just an extra lower I had and I just wanted to, you know, kind of throw one together. This is the Stag Arms uh, lower. It's got the Magpo Mo um, hand uh, pistol uh, grip there. That works fine. So anyway, just some fun here. We're just having some fun with ARs. Show you a couple of different uh, looks. These are guns without suppressors or flash hiders on them. So we're going to go ahead and shoot these in just a second. Fun stuff. Okay, folks, the next thing I thought we'd do here is uh, just a real quick comparison. I've got two old Bushmaster uppers. None of the, neither one of them have the flash hider or um, flash suppressor. Uh, and what I wanted to do is just look at a couple different kinds of ammunitions. We're actually going to shoot some really cheap, uh, cheap steel, crappy uh, wolf. I don't really care <laughs> in these two guns because I've shot these guns so much and they're probably at the, their end of their life in terms of the bolt and, and whatnot, but they, they still shoot, so we're going to have some fun. So what we'll do is we'll shoot a few rounds of the wolf, um, and then I'll transition to um, some uh, two other popular uh, calibers, uh, the 5.56. Uh, Federal, so the Federal uh, XM 193F 55 grain uh, ball ammo, and we'll also shoot some PMC, some of the uh, XTAC. Again, uh, this is a 62 grain uh, green tip. It's a NATO uh, uh, loading, so we'll shoot that in comparison to the Wolf without suppressors, just for something fun to do. So the first. First gun we're going to shoot, uh, and then we will switch uppers. So this is just a, a bushy upper, um, very basic, um, one and nine twist, 5.56 five, uh, barrel, standard sights. Uh, and we're just going to shoot this a couple of rounds, and then we'll switch. So the first thing we're going to use, we've got a Tango ma a Down magazine. we got our Tango Down mag. We're going to shoot that um, and uh, see what that um, looks like. So, um, you know, a lot of people are concerned about uh, the wolf. I really don't see an issue, um, at least with older guns that you're not particularly concerned about, um, which is my opinion. Some people don't like it. Now we're going to shoot the PMC, this is the X-TAC 62 grain um, green tip, so you know, the, the steel penetrator. I'm not going to shoot my steel with this because I don't want to beat my steel up. So you should see a slight difference in uh, Pretty cool. And then the last thing we're going to shoot here is the uh, Federal. And uh, you know, this is a one of those rounds. A lot of people shoot this. This is the 
standard, you know, NATO ball stuff. And with this mag, which says to me, I have loaded one too many rounds. That's one sure way to know whether or not your mag is... <laughs> ah, it fits now. So, let's take a look at the uh, 55 grade ball. From this end, there's a little bit more flash out there. You know, it definitely has a, a, a more of a distinctive punch to it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch our uppers, and we're going to go to the Bushy Bushmaster Dissipator, which uh, just fun to shoot and looks kind of cool. So let's take a look at that. So we now have the Dissipator upper, which is kind of a, a cool looking thing. This particular style allows you to have that long sight radius with still a relatively short 16 inch barrel. So you're really getting the extra benefit of the sight. Um, and the barrel's kind of heavy, so there's a little more weight. Again, the first thing that we're gonna shoot is the wolf. Next thing we're going to shoot is the X-Tac, 62 grain, green tip. And then the last is the Federal XM193 uh, ball ammo. This dissipator upper is fun. So, from this side, I'm seeing a little of flash. Again, we're on a pretty bright day. I am in the shade, but we are seeing a little bit of flash. So that flash hider does make a difference. To me, if somebody is shooting at you with a gun, you really don't care whether it has a flash hider or not. Um, you know, if you're defending your house uh, in the middle of the night, you know, maybe there's some, you know, tactical benefit. The average person is not running around having to do offensive things with a weapon uh, and therefore from my perspective it's less of an issue now my other ARs absolutely <laughs> I've got them I think they do help hold down that front sight so you don't have as much muscle left they dissipate some of that um, or mitigate uh, it's sort of almost as a, as a muzzle brake does some of the lift of the gun and they do suppress that uh, light particularly if you're in a low light condition end of the day you can get a tremendous amount of flash and what that could do if you're the shooter is it just is going to affect your ability to really see what's going on downrange. However the bottom line is a gun with or without it um, in my mind is, is still cool and still a lot of fun. So that was a real short overview just gave me a good reason to shoot the, uh, the ARs. A real short overview of the Bushmasters, two different Bushmaster upper, uh, uppers, a 16 inch with a fluted barrel and then the Dissipator upper, again 16 inch barrel with the full length uh, forend and hand guards which gives you the long sight radius. Um, so for a guy like me with my aging eyes, <laughs> that extra sight radius can certainly help. Thank you all for watching, really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of subscriptions have come in over the last month and um, that's all a result of you. And so keep sharing uh, your thoughts, your ideas. If you like what you see, tell your friends about it, tell your family about them, have them check out the channel. We certainly appreciate all the views that we get. As always, stay safe.